Hello, this is Rich White with the Education Service Center, and I wanted to do a real quick preview. The Cobalt Alpha 5 stuff is out, um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about that. But I also wanted to show you how um, we're going to be using this modeling, this web-based modeling tool called 3D10 in the new EDGESIM release that's going to be built off of Cobalt Alpha 5 here. Um, another thing that's going to be new in EDGESIM is the ability to take a, sn a quick snapshot, a screenshot, of your world and post that to your Facebook page and and things like that. But um, I wanted to quickly show you some really cool uh, ways that you, that you can get kids involved in simple modeling um, in with their Cobalt space and their Edgesim space. So here is the new Alpha 5. You see me kind of roaming around and I'll spin around. Um, one thing we're going to link to though is this 3D um, model builder. And so you see it here, it's 3D10. I'm going to just grab something that's already created here. You see it right there. You see the interface is very simple, very easy to work with. Um, but now once I have this model out here, I can simply export it. And you see your different formats. You'll want to export this OBJ version. Now once I have this exported, I can go to my desktop and I'm going to find it on my desktop and let me find it very fast, very fast. And I will unzip it. And then I will open my folder. And we'll see my two files there. Those two files will drop in our um, drop in here in Cobalt. We'll drop it in our content and models. And I'll just grab those the material and the actual object. Now let's pop pop open Cobalt here real fast. And I'll go to add a model. And we'll see it in here. It's the OBJ. Uh, there it is. Juby. Okay. It's going to take its time and import it here. There we go. There he is. He's up in the air, so I'm going to have to bring him down here. Let's uh, edit him. Move him down, shrink him. There, I'll shrink him and then I'll spin him around so we can see him. There he is. We'll spin him around here. Where's his? There's his front. So there he is. You see the little model imported the OBJ format. Now I'll take the edit box off here. Put him on the pedestal. Then I'll take the edit box off. There we go. Remove the edit box. Now one thing that's very neat about this web-based tool here is that it supports First, it gives you the ability to create your own objects, but it also supports um, the model format. It exports the model format that we can import directly into Open Cobalt um, or also uh, Edgesim here. Well, the way this will work in Edgesim is there'll be a link. We'll have a, a menu item, and it'll be create simple 3D object, and it'll pop this open and. Uh, give you the ability to create um, that 3D model with 3D10 here. I'm going to create a new one and just show you how simple this is. I'll create my block and color and I can just kind of start painting here. So I get in edit mode. I'll click this pencil here and that will put me in edit mode. Now you see you just kind of start drawing your your cubes. Now if I have the basic shape I want, one thing I can do here is um, 
I can grab this extrude right here and I can pull it up pull it up by extruding it that way so let's take and build some real simple little little objects changing the colors here adding some more cubes now if I wanted to add that into my space I'd simply I can view it too rotate around it zoom in on it now if I want to add that into my space I'd simply go over here to this export and save it first I forget we have to save it and go over here to export and it'll be this OBJ format and then we'll unzip it from our desktop and import it just like we did the little dog here so that in a nutshell is some of the stuff we're going to be introducing here and that will be here within the next few weeks and I wanted to give a quick preview of that